I'm glad to be with you on this Friday uh, of our Lenten journey. It's wonderful to come together as friends and as students, as parents and abuelos and friends of Catholic uh, Consortium of Catholic Academies. Thanks, everybody. This week, we're going to find out that Jesus is in trouble with the religious authorities of his time. He's going to be in big trouble all week before he has to give up his life next Friday on Good Friday. And the thing that's going to put him in trouble, as the gospel says, is not what all the good things he did. He gave sight to the blind, and he raised the dead, and he turned water into wine, and he gave hearing to the deaf, and he, he was able to do some wonderful, wonderful things. But that's not what got him in trouble. Even though he claimed, rightfully, that he was God's son, that didn't get him in trouble. What really got Jesus in trouble was that he told people that they also were God's children. They also were God's sons and daughters. And they didn't want to hear that. Because if they were going to be God's sons and daughters, they would have to behave differently. They would have to be kind to one another. They would have to love one another. They would have to treat one another as brothers and sisters. And they said, we aren't going to have any of that. He's got to go. And unfortunately, there are still too many people who believe that, who believe that if they are called to be the sons and daughters of God and to live like the sons and daughters of God, that that's just too much to ask of them. And so they decided, we better get rid of Jesus. But you know what? What he told them and what he told us is still true, that we are God's sons and daughters. And that means we have to care for one another and respect one another and love one another as brothers and sisters. It means that the differences that distinguish us, our languages that we speak and the races that we belong to and our ages and all of the things that make us unique, don't keep must not keep us from loving each other as brothers and sisters. That was Jesus' message. And we'll hear it all co this coming week, that he says, you must be God's sons and daughters. You must belong to one another as brothers and sisters. Sometimes we think that that's just too much for us to bear. We would rather... We would rather not treat each other as sons and daughters. We would rather not respect the differences that we have. And so we have to hear these, these stories that Jesus gave us in the Gospels over and over again until we believe them. Until we not only believe them, but until we put them into practice. Jesus is going to get into a lot of trouble this week. But you know what? He didn't stop telling us the truth. And he doesn't ever stop telling us that we are God's sons and daughters and that you have to behave like God's sons and daughters. Right? You sure? You positive? Then let's get on with Mass. <laughs>